Now in this last part of session, we will cover some of the redesign and redetailing functionalities like how we can use the design option from here to change some of the design parameters and perform the design of the entire group of beams again. How we can redetail the beam and how we can edit the reinforcement of the beam that was being suggested by the program. We will also check how does this copy reinforcement and paste reinforcement work. It is not a simple copy paste, but actually when we use this functionality of copying the reinforcement and pasting it, what does the program perform internally while doing so? Additionally, we will also look into how we can use the column design data or how we can enter the column design data while the beam is getting detailed and we will also look into one of the functionality that is available where we can use the beam number itself as a name of the group so uh, we will look into all this and lastly we will also look into some of the important or some of the useful settings for detailing of the beam while generating the drawing for the beam so let us start with the redesign option over here so to redesign any particular group of beams what we need to do is select a group of beam that we want to redesign and on right click we get the option to design once we select the option of design the group of the beam which we selected to redesign will get open on the lower half of the window and from here we can change different parameters like we can change the grade of the materials that were used for designing the beam we can also change the top and bottom cover or the side clear cover and the number of layers can also be changed from here the program has its own assumption of determining the number of layers which is dependent on the depth of a beam. So for example if a beam depth is less than 400 the program provides the reinforcement in one layer. Similarly for beam depth between 400 and 1200 two layers of bars will be provided. However the number of layers are not completely restricted. Based upon the design requirement, the number of layer gets automatically increased. So rebars will be arranged in multiple layers as required. And it also depends upon the detailing style that we have selected before we proceed ahead for auto design. So when the program details the beam, the minimum and maximum spacing criteria and the preferred number of free bars that were set are considered and also simultaneously the number of layers which are set by default by the program gets considered we can also change the di beam dimensions that is the depth of the beam or the width of the beam and based upon the design requirements we can also modify the ductility criteria from the beam from this functionality once we are done with all the modifications that we require we can click on this button which is the redesign option and the program designs the beam from start again while designing and detailing any beam in three zones that is the left mid and right in cases when number of bars are weighing across the sections that is across the zones in the along the length of the beam the program tries to maintain the symmetry of the bars that is for example if we have six number of bars in the mid section of the bottom there and if the requirement is low on the bottom supports then the six number of bars will reduce to four number of bars towards the support it will not try to continue five numbers of bars rather by maintaining symmetry the number of bars that will get continued will be four so next we move on to the detailing so 
to detail the beam we need to right click and click on this option of detailing this view is actually the graphical presentation of AST that is required and AST that is provided now each beam is designed at at least 13 stations along the length of the beam where each station is designed for each and every load combination to arrive at required areas of longitudinal reinforcement for top bottom and shear now from this view we can see the number of stations that fall in each zone and from here it is possible to redefine the zones that are being determined by the program so let's say that this left zone consists of three stations and i want to extend it up to four stations so it is possible to do this from this option the length of each zone and the number of zones can be redefined in this way the definition of zones is nothing but a function of the reinforcement provided at different sections and is zone is a collection of consecutive sections with same reinforcement so for a left zone which consists of four stations it will have same reinforcement and if we want to change the number of stations in a zone or if we want to change the length of the zone in short what we can do is select some of these section stations and set the same reinforcement along them so that the program automatically adjusts the stations in the left zone and the mid zone and the zone length will also automatically change as per the sectional detailing provided and the next thing that we are going to see is the editing of the reinforcement configuration of the beam so whatever i have shown you currently which is editing the section reinforcement station wise or zone wise can also be done from the main ui screen let us now quickly see the detail section option that is i have to right click and select this option of detail section this option allows us to locally change the reinforcement configuration that has been provided by the program so i can change this configuration for bottom left mid right top left mid right and shear in all the three locations left mid right i can also change the side face reinforcement that has been provided by the program we can access this option like i can open this uh, box through in three ways one is what we saw currently that is we can click on the detail section option other is if we press the f2 key on our keyboard this option will automatically come out and the simplest option is to double click on any zone and this option will uh, this pop out box will come out for us so from here we see that there are different uh, parameters that we can change so l represents the number of layers which has been provided by the program n1 are the number of bars towards the corners that is that we can provide two corner bars with the separate diameters the corner bar diameter is represented by d1 and the center bar and the center diameter is been represented by n2 and d2 so uh, these are the actual meaning of the terms that are being used here now if we want to increase the number of layers at this point in time then what we can do is we can go to this design option from here that is right click on the design and from here the number of layers that are mentioned is 2 and 2 so if i want to change it to 3 i can change it to 3 redesign and click on this accept button once we click on the accept button and go back to uh, details section now we can see that the number of layers has been changed from 2 to 3 so in this way we can add or remove the number of layers that are being provided by the program the next thing we will look into is copy and paste the reinforcement okay so um, let us consider this example of top reinforcement for the beam b1 so over here my ast required in the left zone is 24828 in the mid it is 834 
and again in the right it is 2533 so in case if i want to provide same reinforcement for all the three zones and if i just simply copy the reinforcement from here and try to paste it over here it shows me a warning saying that insufficient steel provided because the ASD requirement over here is not getting sufficed by the reinforcement we are trying to provide if we do vice versa that is we try to continue this 432 bars in the mid zone it does it because we are trying to provide a higher reinforcement one point we need to note here is whenever we change anything in the either bottom reinforcement and top reinforcement my shear design also gets changed so as per different codes like uh, for this example uh, since we are looking into the is code my spacing of the shear reinforcement depends upon the minimum diameter of the bar that has been used for for the top or bottom reinforcement so currently it is 16 mm and as per the code my spacing has to be six times the minimum diameter that has been used for the longitudinal bars now the next thing we will look into is um, the column data that is required to detail the beam specifically at the column and beam junction so in this modify menu there is an option to edit the column data so over here the input that we need to mention is what is the clear cover to the column reinforcement and what is the corner diameter of the connecting column of the beam so when we take the input of column cover over here and just uh, say that the corner diameter is 12 let us keep the default values as of now and generate the elevation of a beam so let us select this group of beam with b1 to b4 now if we go and check over here and let's measure this that is the distance between beam reinforcement to the column which is 144 mm and the scale that we have used here is 1 is to 50 so the actual value is 72 mm now it at this point itself let us look into some of the detailing and drawing settings from here so there are different options over here like how do we want to mark the various different dimensions like um, how should we mark, uh, mark the span that is from between support face to support face or support center to support center so whatever value we select from here will have its impact on the drawing that is generated